All right, so we're back here, Natasha Hastings, Otto Bolden, here for the cool down. <laughs> wow, really? <laughs> Hi guys, we're back and I'm with my consultant, Mr. Otto Bolden. We're down at his facility, Anson Sports Complex in Miramar, Florida. So he doesn't just consult me like on the road, like I actually come and train with him sometimes. Imagine that. <laughs> so we're warming up, we're getting ready to do uh, what we do here. And I'm gonna let you take over from here and say what we're gonna work on today. Well, what I had originally planned for, um, you came here with a little bit of a an injury. I'd planned to have you do some. We don't like that word. Okay. Well, you know, this is this is the life of an Olympic <laughs> athlete. We don't just want to show that everything is all honky dory and you guys wake up with you know abs of steel and buns of steel and everything working. You know, today you showed up and everything's not right. The hips not right. So okay, so we have to adjust. So, right. but um, I don't like the word injury. Sorry. Okay. You have a a boo boo. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And um, so as a result, I'm going to adjust. What I wanted to do is I wanted to have you do some top end speed stuff, some flying 30s where I was going to give you a 20 meter run in and then we time from zero to 30. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think that your leg is going to survive that today. So we will adjust. And I think what we'll do is we'll line up the sleds and we'll have you pull the sled, some weighted sleds for 20. But we're not doing it in the way that we would do it, for example, in the off season, uh, I want to do it such that we're still working on the things that you always uh, are working on, and that is minimizing your ground contact, creating a lot of force with your upper body, um, your leg movement, keeping your front side mechanics the way they should be, and so on. So um, we we'll just we'll just adjust, and we'll do and we'll we'll do some weighted sleds. Maybe we'll do a set of ten. Ten. Yeah. How, how much weight? We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. My, my intent is to start with 45 pounds. We'll see. And we'll do it on the grass so that you, we don't beat your body up any further. Okay. And, yeah, because uh, let's not forget Monday. Right, because I, I know you have practice Monday, and I want to make sure that I send you, send you back to Texas. Um, oh. Ready to, yeah, ready to, ready to, to, to work out on Monday, because I know Monday's an important day for you. It is for all track athletes. Monday's the Yeah. I, I see enough of you on the workout <laughs> videos and I go, that would not be allowed. No, because you can't let the workout break you by doing this. And, but you're a quarter model, so the, the rules are different for you. So anyway, what did we just do? So we just did mini hurdle drills and the purpose of doing these is to, one, make sure that you're 
running with proper front side mechanics so that you're not letting that <laughs> leg trail behind you. Um, and But for you, it serves a dual purpose because I also want you to make sure that your ground time is minimal. You know, that's that's a, a recurring theme. Especially the end. Yes. So I want you to have this so programmed in your head that when you come off the turn at 300, that, okay, maybe it's not going to look quite like this, but you, you have a, a constant theme of do not sit on the ground because anything fast dies by sitting on the ground. That's it. So now we're moving on to the Focus on what's real, man. Natasha Hastings, Otto Bolden, here for the cool down. <laughs> wow, really? I told you I was going to steal your Because that hasn't been stolen enough? <laughs> wow. Anyway, so we are done for the day. It was a good day. Like Coach said earlier, we had to make... I don't even call you Coach. But anyway, we had to make Call me what you want. Just call me. Adjustments, but it was a trip well worth it. Are we going to come back out tomorrow? Um, I think we should. Okay. It's going to be early and you'll hate it, but... Yeah, if, right. if, if you have two days with me, let me let me have my two days. <laughs> so moving on, um, you saw that we did some of the hurdle steps that I showed you guys probably about a month ago that we did earlier in Jersey. Yep. The difference this time is that we're starting to speed things up. So I felt like it was more of a, how do I, more power exertion than just getting over the hurdles. Now I can kind of focus on um, more than just clearing the hurdles, but actually the force that I'm putting into the yeah, ground. Yeah, because it's, it's not just the high knee drills. We can have you do the high knees all day, and high knees are fine, even though most people do high knees completely inappropriately. When you do a mini hurdle drill like that, I am, especially this time of year, I am completely focused on your application of force towards the ground once you get your knee up to 90 degrees. Yeah. That was good. I didn't knock any hurdles over. That is true. <laughs> and then we moved on to our acceleration drill, which is one that I do on and off depending on the workout, but obviously we're working on speed, so it was meant to be done here. A little bit challenging with my hip flexor situation going on, but we worked around it and made that happen. But then coach being coach saw that I was favoring a side yes. and made an executive call that we are not going to do the 30s that he mentioned so we just moved on to the sleds which <laughs> <laughs> yeah so we started the sleds and the sleds initially we had put 45 pounds the sled itself weighs I think 35 45 pounds by itself so we put her in the harness and we put her with a 45 pound weight on there and what I was seeing is and and th to me that's what being a coach is about. Being a coach is not holding a clipboard or holding a whistle and doling out workouts. Being a coach is knowing which buttons to push when. Right. And the minute I saw you with that first one and you were spending a lot of time on the ground and it was like a grind and a, it, I said, you know what, this looks like an off-season right, sled pull. Right, because it wasn't that I couldn't pull the weight, right. but what we were trying to do today that didn't serve its purpose. You didn't want it to be a slow, powerful motion. You wanted it to be a quick, powerful motion. And that's why, coaches, your number one thing is you have to be able to adapt. Mm -hmm. It's like you have this thing written on a paper, and you know it's a good workout, but on that day, you're seeing something back visually that is not what you want to get out of the workout, adjust it. So what we did is we took the 45s off, and I made her actually go the next one, with no weight, no weight yeah. and that didn't give me what I wanted either. I said, "No, nah, I don't want it easy. quite like that. That's a little too easy. I want to at least challenge her. She's a quarter miler." So we went. We got a twenty-five, 
and the 25 to me was the happy medium and that gave me what i wanted so that's why we did the bulk of your reps with the 25 and that gave me everything i wanted in terms of your ground time your everything and you guys um what we'll, i liked we'll see. most though was we did 10 which sucked but <laughs> all right florida yeah <laughs> um, we did 10 which sucked but my best ones felt like 8, 9, and 10. And so when I start getting into my training where the last few are the ones that feel the best, that's when I know that things are starting to click the way they should. Because anyone can do one, anyone can do two. That's right. But what can you do at the end of the workout? So when I start feeling good towards the end of my workout, I know we're moving in a good direction. Yeah, it's something that I remember... Um Usain Bolt said in this movie because you know people he said people always ask him you know so what should I be focused on in training he said look I'll I'll be the first to tell you I'm not somebody that looks great in training mm -hmm. but when I get to my last reps mm -hmm. those are the ones that I try to get perfect because I feel like that's where my gains are right. so all for all you guys who you know follow workout Wednesdays every week that's a very important thing anybody can be good in the first rep or the second rep does your last rep look like your first rep that's what you should be trying to do it's gonna hurt more of <laughs> and course it might take more effort that's, but yeah. you know those those are the ones that you want to be the best one now with that being said don't what do they call it um what oh gosh front loaded where you take off oh yeah 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 you yeah. want it to be spread out evenly but if you if you feel yourself spreading it out evenly and doing it right and still at the end it feels even better no, you're, you're, you're making gains. All right. Is that all we did? Yeah. So we, we shut it down there. All right. What did you do after you were done? You did something after you were done. Very important part. Oh, we went back to the sticks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we Why did we do that? Sticks. Why would we end with a drill that we started with? What would be the point of that? Well, the point specifically for myself, it's no secret at the end of my race, I get long and heavy. Mm -hmm. And, um... Me no like you. I, I don't like it either. I mean, <laughs> if you look at how I run the first part of my race, I don't want to be slow over here either. So we're working on maintaining the foot action, um, being active on the ground, not getting lazy. Um, we know I won't be coming home like I started, but if we can get somewhere close, it would be good. So we went back over the hurdles five times to see... Or not see, but to re-emphasize re -emphasize the um, the action that we want to like be we doing start. Mm -hmm. in fatigue. So, and again, the notion that you can do it when you're fresh, but how can you do it when you're under stress, when you're fatigued? So, we did finish off with the hurdles. And you were still perfect, which that is always so a perfect. that was all. That's always a good sign. Tens. So. Good day here in Miramar and some sports complex.